Hello ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you're well. My name is Average J and this is my review for Dead Target, which is a first person shooter, it's free to play, and it's fantastic. I've got to apologise right off the bat that I can't record any actual gameplay because although my Samsung Galaxy S5 plays the game silky smooth, it will not record and play silky smooth. It's a mess. Don't ask me why. It's just it's annoying. But I know this game very well, so I will give you my rundown. It's really easy to play because they don't have two virtual sticks. It's not a movement game. You stay stationary and then you just look, shoot, reload. Really basic, simple. It's got a casino where you can win perks and cash and your premium currency, which is gold. Cash and gold goes a long way and it's easy to get lots of it. You have your quests, you do your quests, you rank up, you rank up, you earn more, the ability to earn or buy more guns and upgrades and stuff. So that is awesome. But you get daily quests, which is where you can get loads of rewards. So you come back every day, you do these quests. It does this thing where you can get 15 of the premium currency if you do six of the missions, but there's more than six. So it's quite easy to make sure that you do six a day and then claim that. So I... That is awesome. It's I found I found that the premium currency was better in this game than I think just about any mobile game I've seen. Just with how much of it you get, how easy it is to come by, and how useful it is, <laughs> because they do like um, sales. So there's a trial there. So that will be like you'll be trying a different weapon, and then afterwards it'll give you the opportunity to buy it often at a reduced price, and. It's unusual to actually be able to afford these things when they do that. So that is awesome. The guns are, themselves are quite good. I mean, they're what you expect them to be at the beginning. And then they start to get more and more elaborate. And then you start to get to, you know, the realms of sci-fi craziness. But I got, when I played it before, I got as far as I got the Tesla gun. It's ranked 20 gun, but I got it before that because there was one of those things where it was like, oh, it's a special offer where we're doing it this much. And it's like, wow, I can actually get that. So I did, and it was brilliant, changed everything, no matter, even when I got up to rank 20, it was still functioning so well, it was crazy, and it made the game really easy. <laughs> I was not complaining about that. There's a store where you can buy lots of things, so cheap to very expensive. What you expect, but I found it was slightly better with this game. I just did. It was just, I, I just, I got a lot of love for the game, because... It kind of set the standard for first-person shooters on a mobile. Yeah, I've played others since, and you've got a controller. You know, they play great, but it's awkward. I mean, if it's an auto-fire game, it's okay. So you just line up your shot, and it takes it for you. But I don't know. You don't have the freedom to, to shoot as much or have as little as you want, and you don't want to run out of ammo and that sort of thing. So this is great because it does keep you stationary. You'll say the, there's not that many different places that you can fight. There's a fair few different types of zombies, though. There's bosses as well. They mix things up with like challenges, and there's an endless mode, which is where you're in a dried-up aqueduct, and there's like four different directions the enemies can come from, and it's crazy madness, but it's awesome. Survive as long as you can. And the achievements, they have Google Play achievements, but they have more in-game achievements than that. And they're great because they also reward you with the premium currency. So you've always got something that you want to achieve, whether it be main missions, daily quests, achievements. It's fantastic for that. Keeps you going. Can't give it enough credit for that. I give the game 8.5. Graphically, it's great. I, yeah, I sing its praises and say that you should give it a try if you like first-person shooters. Go on. You owe it to yourself. But... <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you found this helpful, please give me a like. Maybe you subscribe for more videos such as this. Maybe not as useless as this one. Again, I'm sorry that there's no in-game footage. But the game is really good. Really solid. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time.